Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is about the uh, reporting services and uh, using the report viewer uh, to pass arguments or par parameters to the report. Um, this video is going to be in Visual Basic. I have a lot of requests uh, to make this video not in C Sharp but in Visual Basic. And it's really simple. And as you can see here, I'm uh, going to try. To filter this report by the make of this simple class, this simple table. Now, when I click it, uh, you can see that it's filter out the make. So I'll try another one, and as you can see, it's working as expected. So now I'm going to show you how I did this or make this possible using Visual Basic. Uh, the first thing you need to make sure you have is a table, whatever table you have. Here I have a simple cards table with four cards. So once you have your table, then you can start on Visual Studio. The first thing you need to do is to create a data set and go to your tools, data adapter, drop it, go through the simple configuration. Once you're done, you have to come back here into the adapter, right click, add another search, but this search is going to be with um, an argument. So what you do is you go here and depending on your table, you're going to select whatever filter you want. So in my case, I did the make. In this case, I'm going to do the model. You do the add sign model. You click OK. If you want to try it out, you can try it out here. You call it Civic. Click OK. And then you have your filter data. Just hit OK. Click Next. And here you can say Fill by Model. And then hit Finish. And that's it. So now I have two. I can get by make and model. So just save it. Um, you won't need this. So the next step is to go ahead and create a report. I already made this one, but all you do is right click, add a new item, go to reporting, get the report. Don't use the report wizard, it's kind of confusing. So just use the report, name it, and you'll get this window. The first thing you need to do is a uh, new data set. On the data set, it's going to look like this. You can name it whatever you want. And from here, from here you pick or you select uh, your data set. You just make and here what's available. Like this, card. And hit OK. You cancel it. And once you get this, uh, you can drag a, you can go to the tools, drag a table, and then start dropping uh, dropping the columns into the table. So that's it in the report. Then you close it. The next thing is to do is go to the default page. And what you need to do first is drop a script manager uh, control. And so you can see I have a text box where you're going to type the make and then a, and a simple button. button. And then after that, you drop. The report viewer from tools reporting you drop it down and then you come back to the design and on the little arrow here on the right you select the report you make after that you can hit if you hit uh, start debugging it will show you uh, the default data that you have the entire data on your table so I'm gonna close it, stop debugging. Now on your code to make this happen on the page sub or page load, uh, you could make it um, the report data source no, but I'll just leave it like this for now. And what I have up here is a simple look function. And the first thing I'm doing here on the report viewer control, I'm setting it to clear on the data sources. 
and as you can see here I'm gonna start using the data set that I made the first one is the adapter and then the second one is the cable so it's really simple all you do is hit adapter dot field by make and it requires a data table and uh, an argument which is a make uh, in a string value and then after that you set your report uh, viewer the data source you add uh, report data source and this one is based on this namespace you need to add this namespace at the top import Microsoft that reporting that web function once you have that you pass uh, the report data set so I'll go back to the demo report and as you can see I have report DS so that's what you type here report DS and then you pass a table now in this case I'm casting the data table for some reason it's not taking it without it and then the last thing you do is just data bind the report to the new data source and my other in my button function or click event all I do is call my function at the top and say here's the argument and clear data set the data source and add the new data source and bind it to the to the report viewer so it's very simple to use now for some reason this studio gave me this error it's saying that all of this error I have no idea I only seen this with Visio Basic uh, I never had this error in uh, at least C Sharp maybe it's my machine but who knows so if I do this clean I think it was under here clean solution now I'll run it now I keep getting this error so if I hit yes I keep getting this error I have no idea why it works sometimes and then it doesn't so I'm gonna try to pause the video and fix it again well now I, feel, I guess it will work now click yes and it still doesn't work okay so now I'm back and it's finally loading so it works I was expecting so if you want this sample uh, tutorial, uh, just send me an email or a Twitter at Cafe. Thank you for watching.